Okay, I've been playing around this weekend with the Craig Pocket Hole Jig and the Craig uh, KKS 2000 Clamp Table uh, that are new to the Makerspace this weekend. I thought I might give you a little bit of a demonstration just to uh, maybe ease your learning curve because it's taken me a while of messing with this to uh, get it to have the results that I wanted. Uh, so the first thing on the clamp uh, table, I guess, uh, this is a really neat clamp table. Uh, I uh, was uh, not entirely convinced we needed a new clamping uh, uh, solution in here, uh, but now that I play with this, uh, it's just quite cool. Uh, what I'm using it for today, really, though, uh, is just for uh, clamping down the base to the uh, pocket, pocket hole jig. It's pushed on this, uh, you know, it's screwed down to this board here. Uh, and so when I want to use it, uh, I just uh, bring it into the clamp table, clamp it down, and we're good to go. What I'm going to do today uh, is put some pocket holes in uh, this piece of uh, three-quarter inch stock uh, and uh, screw it down to uh, this uh, board over here, just to give you a uh, basic flavor of the uh, jig. So the first thing you want to do uh, is adjust this to uh, give you the uh, height of the, uh, 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 the jig uh, uh, to match your stock height. Half inch is the smallest stock you can cut with the pocket hole jig. And there's a scale on the side here, uh, ranging between half an inch uh, and one and a half inches, uh, which is the uh, largest they recommend with pocket hole jig. Although some of the things uh, I've seen online uh, imply that you can actually uh, do a little bit larger stock if you take it out a bit. But anyways, for now, I'm going to set this to three quarters of an inch. And that will get the depth of my pocket hole uh, correct. The next thing you have to do uh, is adjust this collar on the, uh, the drill uh, bit uh, that's going to actually drill your jig, or you drill your pocket hole right there. Now you can do this on this guide here on the, uh, the, the left, um, but I was having a little bit of problem with that uh, and decided that I would follow uh, some uh, advice on the uh, forum, there's a good uh, Craig forum, uh, and uh, do it instead this way, uh, by putting a coin down on the uh, bottom of the jig, uh, running the uh, drill bit down until it touches that coin, and then tightening it up. And this ensures that you just have the uh, width of the coin between the uh, uh, pocket hole you're drilling and the bottom of the material you're drilling into. Tighten that up well, and pull that coin away. With the pocket hole jig, you're, uh, you're drilling uh, with, uh, or you're screwing rather, uh, with uh, self-tapping screws. And so they say that you really only have to uh, do the uh, pocket hole on the one side of the material. You do not have to uh, pre-drill on the other side of the material. Now I guess you might find some material that's sensitive enough to uh, cracking that you would want to pre-drill. Uh, but their system really doesn't, uh, it doesn't allow for that. Uh, you also notice that I'm uh, using uh, two drills, the uh, cheap and easy non adjustable drill for the uh, for drilling the pocket hole and then a different one for uh, yeah, the screws. Uh, this is just convenient. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do uh, is uh, we're going to uh, take the stock that we're uh, drilling pocket holes in and we're going to uh, put it in here, twisting this guy uh, uh, to uh, be tied up against it. Then when we pull down this clamp on the far side, it'll clamp that in tight. Now the next thing uh, is the uh, pocket hole uh, jig has three holes labeled A, B, and C. When you're using uh, a smaller width material, you can use these to align multiple pocket holes and drill them in one pass. I'm going to drill uh, you three holes out of uh, you this one right now. And before you uh, actually uh, get your screws out, you have to uh, look at the thickness of material that you're joining and determine the appropriate screw uh, length. So for uh, joining a three-quarter inch uh, board to a three-quarter inch board, I'm using a number eight, one and one-quarter inch screw. There's a table on the back of uh, the uh, box itself uh, that uh, outlines this. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in the film, but it's in the plastic there on the box. So I'll get out my three screws for that. Now that I've got uh, the uh, collar adjusted on the drill bit, and I've got my uh, uh, workpiece in there solidly, I'm just going to drill my uh, uh, pocket holes. Okay. 
There is a dust collection attachment. I actually haven't played with it yet, and our dust collection solution in general is kind of lacking, so uh, that might be a while before we get to that. So on the back of, the, back of this, um, we've got our uh, pocket holes drilled. You can see they uh, don't quite come through. That's uh, you know, one coin width away from coming through on the bottom. Do be careful with that. I've uh, seen a couple of people on the forum that have complained about uh, drilling into their plastic piece. And I'd rather not have nice, uh, my nice plastic piece uh, covered up with drill holes. Next thing we want to do uh, is uh, take uh, this uh, a, a interesting clamp. Uh, it's got a faceplate uh, and it's got a uh, hole. And we're going to use that to uh, come up on our uh, 90 degree angle. This is neat. I didn't realize what this was for. So I'll align this. And then I'm going to screw. You also note that I'm not putting them in very tight. I'm going to a uh, stop of about five on the uh, drill. Uh, just enough to suck them up. If it were permanent there, I'd use glue in that as well. And we've got uh, 90 degree. The last thing on the uh, table to uh, note uh, is uh, we've got a bunch of bench dogs here, uh, which are good for doing alignments of, uh, of pieces. Uh, so if you're uh, doing a face frame, you can do it flat on the uh, table. The last thing I'd like to point out before I uh, leave you on this video uh, is that the uh, tools go back in the box, drill bits uh, yeah, go over here, drivers go over here, uh, clamps uh, fall back in here, manuals in there. Uh, notice that there are a few screws in here. Uh, these screws are uh, not the standard screws we have floating all around. They're self-tapping and have a little bit different head. Uh, Lee Valley seems to be the best place to get these screws. Uh, you can play with a couple of mine that are in here, but if you're going to do a big project, uh, please don't run me out of sc uh, screws and get your own screws. The last thing is, is that uh, in working on the uh, trailer project outside, uh, um, I've brought in uh, some uh, of my tools that are not makerspace tools. Uh, we'll hopefully find a uh, better uh, solution for how to keep these. Uh, but for right now, I've just got a great big blue box uh, uh, that is labeled, uh, 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 Derek's tools, please use gently or not at all, and please return here. I really, really don't want my good tools abused, and I really don't want them to get mixed up with the rest of uh, the uh, makerspace tools here. So if you are going to use some of my stuff, uh, make sure it comes back in here. And I'll just leave the uh, big parts uh, uh, sitting uh, in this uh, uh, this box, uh, and uh, feel free to grab them and uh, uh, use the uh, new pocket hole jig. Thanks a lot. Bye.